Welcome to the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. We got fun and games. What's up, Brunk Outdoors family? Today we have another bow shooting tip, and that is basically just uh, accentuating the follow through. And now, when a lot of people think about follow through, they think about their rear arm, and they think about uh, you know pulling through the shot and really finishing with a strong shot, which is good. However, if you're thinking about your rear, your release hand, uh, if you're thinking about the follow through for that, chances are, and you're doing it after the fact, chances are your shot wasn't executed properly anyway. And so the rear hand follow through just comes from having back tension and uh, getting a surprise release. So that one you don't really have to think about, and if you are, it's not really doing anything for you, in my opinion. Now. What we want to talk about today is your bow arm and what you should be doing with that after the shot. And several weeks ago, Trevor was having some problems uh, with some of his shots falling lower than others and a lot of them just grouping low. And they shouldn't have been because this bow is set up the exact same as it was last year when all yeah. of his pins were dialed in just perfectly. And you know, wasn't, nothing changed. Yeah, nothing got bumped. His <clears throat> 20 yard was still on, but as you would go farther and farther and you could really start to see it at 40 yards uh his 50 was the biggest yeah and his arrows would be dropping low and so obviously something had changed in his shooting form and he was shooting good groups uh keep in mind that and i, and I had told him i was like why don't you just move your sight like you're shooting fine just move the pin so you hit where you're aiming and he's like no it shouldn't it shouldn't have changed at all uh, my setup is the exact same as it was last year and I was like okay yeah and so finally I watched him shoot and the first thing I noticed was um, when he would shoot he would you know send the arrow when he thought he was on the target and then immediately he would just let his bow arm fall which a lot of archers do if you're not thinking about keeping your bow arm up and so I told him to uh, really make sure he's just ingraining the pattern of after he shoots make sure he just hold tries to hold the pin on the target uh, you know until the arrow hits the target just several seconds after he's released and what that does is it ingrains that habit into your shooting form so you don't even have to think about it if you shoot with that and practice with that for several weeks uh, you'll be able to go into hunting season and you'll do that accentuated follow-through without even thinking about it because in a hunting situation uh, your yeah. adrenaline's yeah your adrenaline's pumping really that's the last thing you're gonna be thinking about is your follow-through you're gonna pull back shoot and go and then it's gonna dive and in, in contrary if you don't practice that good shooting form of really accentuating the follow-through and keeping your bow arm up you're really likely to do that in a hunting situation where your adrenaline is pumping and also uh, this habit of letting your bow arm fall as soon as you shoot is problematic because obviously if you're on target and the arrow goes and then you drop your bow arm you don't have to accentuate uh, keeping the bow arm up if that was a perfect world where it starts falling after you shoot but if you ingrain that habit over and over again and you have any kind of target anticipation or target panic uh, any form of that your body can start to and your subconscious mind can start to anticipate that the shot's gonna break and a lot of times what will happen is it'll just let your bow arm start to fall you know a millisecond right before you release so that's where some of those low flyers uh, can come from and the simple fix is just to practice holding your bow arm out a couple seconds after release and it takes that problem away yeah so i think that's all we have for you yeah it's worked yeah. for me so far yep really fixed his problem so that's all we want to share with you if you like the video make sure you hit the like button and if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and i'll see you in the next one thanks